Good morning everyone. Today we're going to be mourning a great loss of something that was extremely important. Something that has been with us for a long, long time. My hair. It's gone. The pink streaks. The pink streaks are gone. What the fuck am I doing with my hands? It first started out as long, bright pink streaks went in the sides of my hair. And then when I got my hair cut short, it uh, followed along. It faded a bit and it got to this nice blonde color. And then I went for a haircut yesterday and I didn't realize that they were cutting it so short until it was gone. But yeah, well, get used to it because I can't dye my hair for like a few months. So yeah, so now I'm now I'm basic again. Now I just have black hair. I've lost my main character trope. Can I get rid of that? That's like blending in with my hair because my hair is black now. So today we're going to be embracing our culture, and by our culture, I mean my culture. Now a lot of people don't know this. Uh, it's actually a bit of a secret. It's like my, my second coming out. I'm actually Asian and I, like many other Asians out there, have been given the blessing that is a rice cooker. I have like roommates cooking outside right now and I don't want to join them because the way I cook is kind of embarrassing. One time I was washing rice and then ended up pouring the rice into the sink instead of just the water. I actually managed to keep the water in the pot and all the rice was inside the sink. It was actually amazing. So I'm going to be cooking rice in my room instead and you're all going to be joining me. So this is a rice cooker. My grandma got it as like some kind of freebie a few decades ago. So it's a uh, it's pretty old. When I first opened it, there was like a like a silverfish inside. Those little freaks from Minecraft, yeah, they're real. They were in there. They were hatching eggs and everything. Go away. Go away. Go away. All right, see the inside? So that's gonna heat up. And then this is gonna have the rice inside of it. Yeah. And then this is the cup you put rice in. Speaking of rice, this is the rice we'll be using. It is Japanese rice, rice from my colonizer. So for one person, I think it's like one and a half or like half a cup is enough. This much. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this is like my, my third time making rice. In all my life, I kind of depended on my mom to rice for me. I just broomed the floor. Is it called broom? I just broomed the floor. I'll deal with that later. Let me see how much there is. Uh, it's not one and a half yet. It's not one and a half yet. That's not one and a half yet. Oh, fuck you. Okay, so about this much is one and a half. So after that, you pour it into this, okay? Like, you feel me? You feel me? And then you wash your freaking rice. You wash your rice. I don't want to hear no ifs, ands, or buts. You wash your rice. I don't care how clean it looks. You wash it. You freaking wash Mmm, nutrition. <laughs> Wait, have you guys ever tried eating rice dry? Like eating raw rice? Oh, I'll be the first to do that. I can't tell if that was the rice or my tooth. I realized I have to go out to wash my rice. <laughs> Someone else opened the door the exact same time I did and I freaked out. I think it's okay. I have a water bottle here. We can we can make rice in with my water bottle. Uh-huh. And then you use your hands, wash them, and then like mix it around like this. Uh to uh, wash it. Me when your mom drain the liquid, okay? And then you repeat the process a few more times, like two or three times. There, it gets less and less white as you go on. 
just like how after the UK finished colonizing Malaysia. Pour it out one last time and then we put the water that's supposed to be for cooking. So the amount of water you put in is always a tricky one for me. This is how my mom taught me, like half of this. But my mom also has pretty short fingers. So theoretically, should I inc increase it? De decrease it? A boom, a boom. Now for the test. That is very not <laughs> enough. Hmm. I don't know, is this enough? This is how my mom told me to do it and you know Asian parents are never wrong. So listen carefully if you don't want to um, dye this, wipe the bottom. Make sure it is dry, drier than your coochie. Because if this is wet and it touches this, which is going to be really hot and spicy, uh, you might die. You might combust into little flames and die. If that's what you're going for, don't. <laughs> you put it in. It's really cute. Okay, you close it shut. And then this thing, you clip on. And you can see how there's a light here. Push it down and it starts cooking. I will play some soothing music as we wait for the rice to finish cooking. Okay, I didn't feel myself saying this, but basically, I realized I had barely any topping options for the rice, so I decided to man up, go outside to the kitchen area, and prepare me some soup. I won't be speaking because I'm deathly afraid of the people living with me seeing me talking to an inanimate object, so have this friendly narration instead. So here's a bag of frozen solid soup, very nutritious, and here's the only pot I have. What I'm gesturing professionally here is that the instructions told me uh, to put the whole bag of frozen soup into the bowl, fill the bowl with water, and then boil it for 9 minutes. Keep in mind about the 9 minutes part because I did not see that before I started this. No, I thought I just had to boil it until the vibe was right. And also I forgot to thaw it first, but surely that won't be a problem, right? This is actually deleted footage from Masterchef, where I broke in after the end of every season and won the championship each time. They didn't show it because they they hate Malaysians. Enjoy this sped up footage of me waiting for the soup, the soup just right. And after a while, I started contemplating if it's ethical to eat white rice with nothing more than sardines that have been marinating in tomato sauce inside a can for months, but I didn't want the entire continent of Asia to hunt me down, so I decided to put that aside for now. Then here, I took a quick little break to check up on how the rice cooker is doing like it's a toddler. The soup was boiling pretty alright, you can see all the condensation at the top. Here, I realized that without the washing machine noise happening, you could actually hear the bag of soup gargling whenever I pressed on it slightly. It sounded like it was drowning. So, of course, I tried to play sea bat on it. <laughs> that poor ratted girlfriend, oh my god. I got this little bowl guy I named Terry to do the honors of being scalded alive internally by hot water. So remember when I said I should have thawed and then boiled this for 9 minutes, but I didn't? Turns out there are consequences to my actions because there was a solid chunk of unliquefied soup left inside. Bro, why are you acting so shocked? What did you expect? I just swatted it with a spoon a few times and boom, good enough when you're used to the bare minimum. If you're confused by all the little bits inside, this is called imitation shark fin soup. So it's supposed to look like that. 9 out of 10, not bad for being stuck as a giant ice cube for months. Then we return to find the rice has finished ricing. Narration for lean out. Woo, you can see the steam. Okay. My, my, my. 
that's a pretty good rice, I have to say. Well, well, well. I regret to inform it to you guys, but I am missing a key component of rice making. I don't have like one of those little bowls. Usually the way we do it is that we put it in like a little bowl and then we flip it over, which gives the rice the dome effect. I don't have that, so we're just gonna splatter it on like it's some kind of peasant crime scene. I can make- Ow! Freak out! I, mean, I think that was a good idea. <laughs> we got to celebrate our difference. Should I just eat this with soy sauce? Yes. Ow! <coughs> My ancestors would be so disappointed. It's not a dome, it's like freaking Australia. Alright lads, hear me out on this one, yeah? I look through my pantry. I have soy sauce, garlic powder, and edamame. I also have two cans of tomato sardines, but I feel like I might get assassinated in my sleep if I add those to my rice. Okay, make a smiley face. It's it's smiling at you. Oh, this is not garlic powder, this is garlic salt. <laughs> Probably the same thing. I love edamame. Edamame is my favorite vegetable. But am I edamame's favorite? No. Should I put the can of sardines? I feel like I'm missing some protein here. Should I? Is it normal? Is it normal to eat this with sardines? Okay, I'm done. Mm. <laughs> e yummy! <laughs> Delicious! Rumble in my tongue! Thank you for watching this week's video of uh, college struggles. I'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs> I look like a middle school boy. I mean, at least I look like a boy, but I look like a middle school boy.